Hannibal and other members of the Temple of the Union are now safe at Lincoln Memorial. And the slaves of the wasteland have a safe haven to go to. And now that I'm here in the underworld, I uh, think there is one slave I want to rescue. What? Watch for signs of trouble. Hmm. You might be right. We need to be careful with us, Rugal. But, um. From what I understood. It's been a while. What have you been up to? I'm keeping it together. You know how it is. Sharon is working for us, Rugal. And is bound by contract. No. Go talk to Azrakal. I, I just... Don't make me say it again. Alright. Fair enough. You're Azrakal, right? Back for more, eh? What can I get for you? Well, actually I wanted to talk to you about Sharon's contract. Oh. Would you now? He is a highly valuable asset to me and to the Ninth Circle. What did you have in mind? Well, I could just buy the contract from you or... Uh, maybe we could work out some sort of a deal, what do you say? I suppose we could do that. Uh, although you might not like the deal that I have to offer. You see, I don't like competition. Not at all. It goes against every principle that I have as a businessman. So the fact that there is another source for booze in town troubles me. Greta, the waitress over at Carol's, I want you to kill her. Hmm. I don't care how. Just make it quiet. Do it, and you can have Sharon's contract. Oh, that kind of deal you had in mind. Why not just have Sharon do it? Loyal employee that he is, Sharon would do it without question if I asked him to. However, the entire town would come down on me for it. Greta is quite popular around here. If Sharon is the one who kills her, everyone will know that it was me who ordered Greta's death. Hmm. I need Sharon clearly visible and in public when Greta dies, so that I can fairly claim ignorance of the situation. Hmm, well, I guess it's a good thing I recorded this conversation to my pip boy, because I want nothing to do with this. No stomach for hard work, eh? No matter. If you don't want to do the job, then come up with the cash. Otherwise, I'll just hang on to this contract. Hmm. Well, let's talk cash, then. I knew you'd change your mind. Just remember, Sharon is a valuable asset to me, and he doesn't come cheap. Are you ready to deal? Hmm. I'll give you 10,000 caps for the contract. I suppose that could work. Yes. Yes, here's the contract. And I'll take my payment in full. I'll give you the pleasure of informing Sharon yourself. All right. <coughs> hmm. I can't read it. Well, Sharon? Talk to. No, 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 no. None of that. I have the contract now. You are free. I belong to no one. Yes, indeed. If you are my new employer, then I will serve you. But first, I must take care of something. Wait here. Hmm. Hey, you. What's new? Azrakal, I am told that I am no longer in your service. That's right, Sharon. Have
Have you come to say goodbye? Yes. Uh, all right, let's go. Whoa, what was that about? Azrakal was an evil bastard. So long as he held my contract, I was honor bound to do as he commanded. But now you are my employer, which freed me to rid the world of that disgusting rat. And now, for good or ill, I serve you. Oh my god. I thought Saron liked Azrakal. Apparently not. Jesus, what did Azrakal do? Really sucks. He was an evil bastard. I thought Sharon liked Azrakal. Have you tried the new whiskey he's stocking? It's it's something special. Um, I wouldn't feed that shit. What should we do with the bar? Open bar? Open for everyone? Huh. That's yeah. Secure for a reason. Oh shut up. Just just help yourself. It's open bar. Supply key. Ah. Wait a minute, where's my thousand caps? Hmm. Oh well. Didn't have a key on him Is either. To the mission? What mission would that be? Well, let's unlock the safe. Notes and Carol. There's something up with her. She's become so mobile lately. I wish I knew what it was. She might be a good customer for the special stock. That is, if I could get her away from Greta long enough to work on her. Patchwork. I can't say enough good things about this boy. The only thing is, I need to remember to keep an eye on him. I've got him behind the counter several times. I'd say that he's more trouble than he's worth. But somehow he just keeps coming up with gaps for booze. Really? Snowflake. What is it with this guy? Well, honestly, I don't care. He buys all my jet and keeps coming back for more. It doesn't really matter if he insists that he's a barber, I guess. Dr. Barrow. Note, he has all sorts of good stuff in his office. I should find a way to get him out of town for a while so that I can restock my supply from his. Of course, that egghead never leaves the flap of his, especially since he got that passed out smooth skin in there. Alright, speaking of Riley. <sighs> well, I guess this, uh, this fellow wasn't very liked. Oh, I've been looking for one of those. Nice. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Should I give you the assault rifle? Yes, what is it? You have a shotgun? Do you have enough ammo for it? Very well. No, you don't. No, wait a minute. Where did you put that shotgun? You only have a knife. Ah, uh, we'll have to change that. Uh, but I kind of want to keep my... Uh, kind of want to keep that for myself. Hmm. What can you do? Is there a problem with what I'm doing? Well, not really a problem. Let's just think about your combat style. What do you think would be best? Um, yeah, ranged weapon is nice. Just, just keep it off if you have one. It is what you wish of me. Uh, sure. I shall follow your lead. Hmm. Yeah, I think we need to get your, uh, get your weapon. Maybe from Forks. Yeah, just, uh, just help yourselves. Here. Jesus, what did Azrakal do? Well, he was an evil bastard. And... Somewhat of an asshole, I guess. Right? Well... Help yourselves. I guess we can go and, uh... Pass the good news to Carol and Greta. 
maybe tell Greta that uh, I was recall was planning uh, planning what he was planning. Excuse me. You're excused. This is our town. You best be careful. Um. Uh, everything okay? Wait a minute, where is... Where is she? You're Carol, right? Yes, you are. Uh, huh. Hi. Oh, you're gonna crash my game soon, aren't you? What? Never seen a ghoul before. Well, never seen, never seen a shaking ghoul. It is 9 p.m. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I will just rest at Carol's place like I planned. Well, hello. It's always good to see a customer. What do you need? Well, I could take a room again. No. Oh, 120 caps, I guess. Mm, all right. Okay, it's right over there, middle room. Thanks, girl. You come back real soon now. Well, we'll see about that. You could uh, offer the room for a bit cheaper price. <laughs> Terrible air down here. Now that I think of it, I could have... Uh... Oh, well. Have you heard? I probably could have slept at... Uh... As Rukal's place. Well, sleep well. Enjoying your stay. You know how it is. Hmm. There is Greta. She was somewhere. Hey you. What's new? Uh, Asrukal is dead. Town, you best be careful. Hmm. Maybe we should leave. Maybe there were some people that actually liked Asrukal. Hmm. But I do want to talk to Tulip first, just to see if she has stocked new ammo. How are you doing, Winthrop? Work to do, so if you need something, spit it out. Well, nothing special, but whoever is taking care of the cleaning might clean up uh, Asrugal's place. Tulip, are you here? In a minute, what are you? Good to see you. Oh, all oh, right. Excuse me. I was just, uh, I want to talk to, um, uh, talk to Tulip. Would that be okay? Watch for signs of trouble. Well, I think that's completely natural. Even if they are ghouls. Hmm. Maybe I'll have something to eat here. Did I have something on me? Yes, I did. Wait a moment. Alright. I guess the ninth circle is now mine. Didn't think about that. Hmm, yeah, why don't we put it up for rent? 
Maybe Carol will want to run two places with Greta. Or maybe someone else wants to take over. Oh. It's been a while. What have you been up to? Well, I was just We're not so bad. Resting, resting for the night. Um Hmm. Hmm. It's not really working. Be cautious. Well, actually, it does work if I knew where the key was. Put that down, will you? Well, I will just move move the body away from here. Dude, harshing the buzz. Minus five points. How do you do that? Hushing the buzz minus five points. Ah, I guess the key is nowhere to be found. This stuff tastes like centaur piss. Hmm. <clears throat> It wasn't here, was it? No. I oh, wonder where Asrukal sleeps. Oh well. Maybe we will just forget about it. And go talk to Tulip. That's all part of the owned mod. The key is probably somewhere, but I just don't know where it is. Okay, enough. Uh, oh, right, you are alone now. Hey, Tulip. I've got just the thing for you. Do you want to see it? Please say yes. No, 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 no. I, I don't want the same thing Quinn wanted. I just wanted to see what you have for sale. If any of the armor fails to protect your life, I'll give you a full refund. Well, I was hoping you would have some ammo. But I don't think you have restocked yet. All right. Come back soon, please. Well, I probably will, but now, uh, now we have to go and uh, pay visit to the Lincoln Memorial. But before that, uh, hey, Fox. Something troubling you, my friend? Uh, could you join me for a moment? I owe you no less than... Um, what have you got on your mind? Can we trade? Yes, by all means, let's... Hmm. Yeah, I think the combat shotgun is uh, pretty much Sharon's style. Hmm. 
guess he could be wearing the power armor as well, but let's leave that to a fox for now. Alright, um, you can stay here. Are you certain? Yeah, just stay here. I'm disappointed. I'll, uh, I'll come get you again. Ah, oh, where did you st leave? Stay. What the hell? Hmm. Hmm. Strange things happening here. What do you need? I will give you a weapon. Very well. There you go. And I shall follow. Now what the hell is wrong Assessing with... Threat. No threat. Uh, what the hell is wrong with the door? They appear if I go out from here. Ah, good. That's good. Right, let's uh, visit Lincoln Memorial before heading to Rivet, Rivet City. Like no more super mutants have appeared in the area, at least not yet. Hmm, I wonder if Caleb already got started with uh, with the statue. Very interesting to see that. What? Maybe... What do you need? Maybe you can just take out the shotgun. Is there a... It is what... I shall... You don't like the combat shotgun? What do you need? Very well. And I shall follow. Well, maybe you will, uh, maybe you'll use it when we get to a fight. I hope no more super mutants have been in the area, I don't think so. Oh, look at that! The statue is already up. Caleb was fast. Hello, how are you? Wait a minute, who are you? Hannibal? Our abolitionist hero. Life is much better for us here than it was in the wasteland. We're better armed and better fed. Well, I can, I can see your armor. Well, that's that's good news. All the best to you, man. Bye. Hmm. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Good to see you. Would you look at that? In this temple. As in the hearts of the people for whom he saved the Union, to memory of Abraham Lincoln, is enshrined 
forever. You did a good job, Caleb. A really good job. Thanks to you, we're rebuilding the memorial. Well, indeed, and I guess thanks to you. Huh. Would you believe that, Gross? I guess you don't care that much. Hmm. Would it be interesting living here, Sharon? Keeping these guys safe? Maybe you... What was that? Well, maybe you, uh, you can stick around for the adventure first. Yeah, looks like everything's okay here. It's great to see you again. Oh, and it's great to see you so friendly. They have the Brahmin there. Wait. These tents are new. Have they already set up tents for the slaves? Huh. How awesome is that? How you doing, dear boy? Four score. Yes. Alejandra. You've come to see us. How sweet. Well, of course. I guess this is where Hannibal is staying then. It looks like they haven't cleaned the place much up in here. Well, most importantly, they are safe. Good to see you. And the memorial has been restored. Guess I'm off to spread the word that the place is free now. Maybe pay attention to that place at Paradise Falls. Free some slaves. Yes. How you doing, I am Bill? Most honored to see you again, sir. Hmm. <laughs> Always so polite. Always so polite. All right, let's uh, let's get our asses to Rivet City. It'll probably be through the museum station. From Rivet City, we will probably visit the market and then take a caravan. Caravan ride to Canterbury Commons and get the motorcycle. Your father would be proud of you. Maybe I could look into that situation between the um, machinist and and agonizer. The town would probably do much better if those two weren't fighting for power. 